This video is a little bit different. Actually, the location, if you can't tell, I'm not in the truck. I am actually at, I'm having home time. And home time is important. Um, I'm learning about the importance of it. Originally, it was to take care of things like to take care of errands, go do things that I really can only do in my hometown city or where I'm based out of. But this time, I actually was looking forward to getting out of the truck for a little while. I love sleeping in the truck. I love being on the road. But I think we need to get out of the truck every now and then. And so that's what I'm doing. Out of the truck, doing my errands, and seeing a few family and friends. Not nearly as many as I would have expected or as hoped to originally. The hotel. I'm trying out staying in a hotel versus staying at my place. And I want to rent my place out. I'm not home, but maybe two or three days a month. So why not rent it out? So this is to kind of test out what it's like. Like how, where do I park my, my truck, my personal truck? How do I do laundry? How do I do my errands? Stuff like that. And I'm learning already a few things. Like I had a reservation and my plans changed and I had to change the reservation. That changed the price of my rooms. It, it, um, it doubled it. Where to park the truck, my personal truck, stuff like that. How to see friends. I'm learning by doing this in a hotel. And I'm staying in a nice hotel. A hotel that is near me anyway, where I, my, my place, my, my condo, but I've never stayed here overnight. And so I thought I would do something nice, treat myself kind of like a vacation. It's a hotel built in the 1800s, uh, late 1800s, which I've mentioned before is my favorite time. And there's an energy here that's extremely unique. Speaking of energy, actually, this hotel is reported to be very haunted by a few spirits. I can't say that I believe in that necessarily, but I have tried to find and see ghosts since I was very young. I mean, I have, I've been, I've gone to graveyards. I've stayed almost an entire night in a graveyard one time when I was 16. I slept in the back of my truck right there at a graveyard, hoping to see something. I hate to even admit this, but I even brought a Ouija board that particular time by myself. I do a lot of those things by myself, but I didn't see anything. I never have. I wanted to, I tried, but I do believe that there's an energy that we can't explain. I believe that energy never dissipates. It never goes away. So I'm staying in a, in a reportedly very, very haunted hotel. I'm staying in what they, what's kind of considered the most haunted room. Put aside the haunted part. It's a very special room. And I hesitate to even say this, but there's been two women that have committed suicide in this room from heartache. And I believe that that energy can, it's something. Anyway, the point here is I'm here to kind of out of curiosity, personally out of curiosity. And, and I want to be near a type of energy that is probably um, rich of some kind. And I'm here to show my respect. I'm not doing this. I'm not, I'm not making this video about, oh, let's look at ghosts. Let's do things like that. That's not what this video is about. But I, am, I happen to be here. And, and this is home time. And this is how I'm doing my home time this particular time. So I just kind of want to share how I, how I am and how I do things. And that rose over there, uh, I brought that there because there's been two women that have reportedly, okay, reportedly, but I, I do think the stories are pretty accurate, have have committed suicide here so those those i brought roses out of respect and that is one there and that there's another one over there because one of them one of them decided to take their life in that in that, in that room there so uh, but someone one of them decided to take their life in that particular room so I'm showing my respect. I, again, I, I can't say that I believe in ghosts, but I do not rule it out. Or spirits, or whatever we want to call that. If there is anything like that, I hope they understand that there's respect. And I just want to show a little bit of that. So that's what the flower is for. And there's another flower there in the back room. But this is a very nice place. I'm enjoying it so far. Um, I have a new light. I have a microphone that did not work because of an attachment but this is what I'll be using in the future to help make it a little 
more palatable for y'all so that hopefully the video and the audio is a little better and the lighting but anyway just wanted to kind of take a moment share what i'm doing here i'm on home time i'm doing it in a way that experiment what it's like to stay in a place rather than my condo and remember we got to enjoy ourselves it's not, i don't think we can stay in that truck all the time as wonderful as it is and they're very comfortable in seeing everything that we do we need we need a little bit of grounding or just kind of get away from it and that's what i'm doing and it feels good and uh anyway that's my video Let's see while i'm here uh, you know maybe give you a little tour here and i'm using my little it's kind of like a selfie stick but give you different views and things so this is the room uh it, it's it's very comfortable uh there's the mirror bed it's got some cool cool furniture right there it's got vaulted ceilings let's check out the restroom uh, it's nice there it is it's tight cool sink there's the bathtub and shower anyway this is this is a special room this is a very special hotel and uh i'm glad to be here i'm glad to actually be here uh, let's see closet i'm gonna open the door and and i'm, I'm not gonna talk in the hallway because i feel like people need their privacy and they might not want to be hearing me talking but i'm gonna walk you down the hall just so you can see some things i'm gonna show you some paintings that's another thing that's interesting here i'm gonna be quiet I feel a little weird walking down the hall with a big light on here and my phone and a big gigantic heavy duty a selfie stick basically walking down the hall they have a lot of paintings there's hundreds of paintings throughout the hotel there's one particular painting there's a painting here and i'll make this one real quick okay this really wasn't about being a haunted or a ghost video or anything like that but there's a painting of a, of a young girl and years ago when i was walking through here I've come through. I've come through here a lot. They have they have you know, like a couple of really good restaurants in here, and have a nice bar, and it's just a really cool place. But um, one of the employees told me there was a haunted painting, and I asked how would I know which one it is. She said, "You'll know when you see it." She told me the floor that it was on. I started walking. And it's on this floor. I did know which painting it was when I saw it. And it, it wouldn't say it made the hair stand up literally on the back of my on my neck, but it made me feel very, um, very, very kind of strange, very interesting. Yeah. It's it's of a painting, and again, this is uh, these are stories. That, you know, I don't know how many how much of this is is accurate, but all I can go off is what I've been told and the stories that have been said over the years. And uh, it's of a young girl of a congress person i believe from a long time ago who fell down the stairs the day after this hotel opened and her ghost is, is supposedly here as well and so uh it's a it's a painting of the young girl who fell when her dad was here doing some type of meeting a uh, political thing and uh, she fell down the stairs chasing her ball and it's it's a painting of her and, and and it is a unique painting it is not i will attest to that it's uh, there's something about it and i don't know what creepy might be i don't really like to use that word i like to use maybe something with a little more respect than that but it's creepy it makes me feel uncomfortable and and that's legit you know, that's that's for sure i think i'm gonna go have a glass of wine 
I hope this was helpful or at least informative. That's what this is about, is just to kind of share what it's like to, as, as a new driver. And not, not necessarily just that, that's part of this, but it's really just about doing the, the various things that I'm doing and, and seeing and, uh, and following my curiosity. I hope you're all having a great week. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go have that glass of wine and I will make another video soon. And I hope you all are enjoying them. Again, if you have any questions or there's any comments you wanna make, please let me know. Uh, I can I can adjust things, I can make different videos, I can uh, focus more on something less or more of things, but let me know. I'm, I'm open to it. All right, y'all have a good week. All right, bye-bye.